So let's quickly have a look at um, our contents of today's lesson, the area of parallelograms. Ooh, who can tell me what is a parallelogram? That is a revision question. Let's see what we get. Come on. You can just put your hand up. I'm not going to choose anyone. Okay, Annie, yeah, go on. What is a parallelogram? Are parallelograms two lines that are parallel to each other? Okay, brilliant. So, um, can you tell me what kind of polygon it is? What yes, Annie. Is it um, a quadrilateral? Beautiful. A parallelogram, guys, is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Okay, so you get quad bikes and those quad bikes have four wheels. That's how I remember. It's a quadrilateral and it has two pairs of parallel sides. Here is a drawing. So it's a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Very important. Okay, okay. So I want you to make two observations. So the first observation, let's quickly ask um, Sunny. Sunny, what can you tell me about the values of the X and Ys for each shape? What can you tell me? Are they similar or are they different? They are different. Okay, so X here was, um, Y was 2, X was 4, Y was 2, X was 4, Y was Sorry, 2, I X mean was... Sorry, I different. I, I thought you'd say the value of Y and X. Yes, they are similar. They are the same. All the Ys are two units long and all the Xs are four units long. Do you see that they are the same? Yes, I can see it. Fantastic. And then what do you notice about Y? Y is not here, but Y is here. What type, um, what line is Y? It is a perpendicular line. So it's the perpendicular um, height of these parallelograms. We must always take the perpendicular height. We can't count the slanted line, okay? We can't count the diagonal. Okay, so X is the length, Y is the height, and then we count it and, ooh, this is another thing. If we want to know the area, we can count the blocks inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the area of each parallelogram equals eight. Okay.